Sie. We have noted with concern that the conflict has had a spillover effect uh, to other parts of the city of Cape Town. We have continued to engage both Carter and Cordetta, as well as the provincial leadership of Santaco, to find a sustainable long-term solution. With the initial collapse of the mediation process, the parties have since agreed to arbitration which is now underway. However, the conversations with the associations have uh, continued. The province invoked extraordinary measures in terms of the law, which entailed the closure of Route B97 between, between Begweni in Pal to Belleville, as well as the closure of lanes at the Belleville interchange. Should there be acts of violence, all affected routes operated by the two associations will be closed. For all minibus taxi operations, for a period determined by the MEC, and affected operating licenses will be suspended. As part of the agreement, the B97 arbitration process is still, is still um, underway. Um, as we speak, um, all both parties agreed to that, um, to that process. We're waiting for a, an order um, once, once the arbitration process is done. And that order, both parties also agree that that will become an order of court. Thank you very much. It's been a very rough few weeks for the minibus taxi industry. And Santaco, we have attempted and having meetings with our colleagues from both sides. And we are grateful that with the intervention of the National Minister and the MEC in the province to rescue us in the discussions going forward. We want to humbly apologize to the taxi industry uh, to our commuters that has been making use of our transport for the inconvenience that we have caused but we can gladly say that today the Lord has made that we came together as industry and in the maturity that we have spoken to each other we can gladly say that we have came to the conclusion on the ceasefire and we want to service the people that put bread on the table. Does it mean there will be taxis this afternoon for peak hour traffic, or does everything kick in in the morning? Thanks, Nancy. Lieutenant? I would start by saying my humble apologies to our commuters. My humble apologies on behalf of Codeta to the people who, who, who are earning their living for us. Uh, we know these couple of weeks were difficult, and uh, the people that we basically made them to lose confidence in us are uh, the commuters. Therefore, from Codreta, I would like to reiterate uh, our agreement and commitment to ceasefire, first and foremost. 